Hello, Andy proposed a fun challenge. Create a geometry node system that automatically orients a caster wheel as it is moved. And in this tutorial, we're going to do just that. All right, here I am in a Blender 3.6, which is in beta at the moment. Brand new scene. I'm going to select everything and just get rid of it. I'm going to create um, three objects. First of all, let's start with some movement. So let's create a new object. Uh, it could be anything, really doesn't matter. Let's get this, uh, go into top view, switch on recording, hit spacebar, G, and then move this around. So I'm just recording some keyframes, as you can see on the bottom uh, of some movement. This is supposed to be the movement of our shopping cart. Okay, so this is the move. And this is really just for the keyframes, for the, for the movement. We really don't need to see this. Let's go back to collection, shift a mesh, and then we're gonna add a single vertex. If you don't have this menu, when you hit shift a, uh, then just enable the uh, add mesh extra objects. It comes with Blender, it's in the add-ons, it's just not enabled by default, so just enable it. That gives you a, an object with a single vertex in it. And we're gonna use that in our geometry nodes setup, and you will see later why we want a single vertex. And then we need something uh, that represents our wheel. I'm just gonna add a plane. I'm gonna call it wheel. Okay, go into edit mode, scale X, G, Y, bring it down. Okay, what I'm thinking here is that I'm looking at the wheel from the top. And you know those caster wheels, they always have this mounting position on one end. And then this is the wheel. If you look at it from the top, this, position is now here. This would be our uh, origin point of the object. And then this is the wheel looking down on it or a very simple rep representation of it. Okay, now let's go to our vertex, go to geometry nodes. And on the vertex, uh, again, look at it from the top of view. On our vert single vertex object, we're gonna create a new node tree and in here, will create our simulation. If you haven't seen my simulation notes, tutorials, they're all here on YouTube. Just look on my channel. We create some fun things with uh, self-made particles and uh, go into detail on how simulations in geometry nodes work. So right away, we are going to add a simulation zone and plug it in. Okay, now, uh, as very similar to the, the last tutorials with the particles, we need to capture an attribute. So let's just go capture. That's not capture. That's capture attribute. Plug that in here. We want to capture a vector, the position of our points. And we know we only have a single vertex. So this entire geometry in here is just a single point. So now we have the position of the point and we get that here. And uh, just like with the particles, this is the old position, right? Coming in through the simulation from the last uh, iteration, from the last frame of the simulation. If we plug it in like that. What's the new position, right? We want to move this point to a new position. So we need a set position node. Uh, we can plug that into our geometry. What's the new position? Well, we are just gonna need an object info node and we take our move object because that's the one with the where is it that's the one with the keyframes on it and in here we get the location which is the keyframed location on each frame of the move object and in our vertex object we use that uh, to set the new position but we don't want this out here we want our velocity vector just like with the particles. So we know we need a vector math node. We need to subtract the old position from the new position. And this is our velocity vector. We plug that in here, name it V for velocity. So now we have our velocity vector. And if we hit spacebar, what do we see? Do we see anything? Well, right now we have our uh, move object moving around. If we disable this and we look at our vertex, then we have the vertex moving around. Okay, so let's think about this. We have 
the previous frame, maybe the vertex is here, and then we have the new frame, maybe the vertex is here. With this subtract, we get the velocity vector, which is just the, the difference between those two. So that will be this vector. And really what we want is to use this vector to rotate our wheel. Remember the wheel is mounted here and it should be aligned like this then. So it's following the movement and the wheel is always behind and following. So that's the idea here. Now, before we can do that, we need to see our wheel. So we're just gonna use our single vertex and we're going to instance where is it? Let's go instances, instance on points. Remember this entire geometry here is just a single vertex. You can see here one vertex. And we want to instance an object. So object info node, we want to get our wheel in. So now we have that, we have one wheel, put it where the point is. And then the wheel is following, but it's not rotating yet. Okay, let's go back to frame one again switch off the wheel. So how do we rotate this thing? Well, let's move this out a little. And there is a very simple node, which is the align, align Euler to vector. So this is the vector that gives us, uh, we have to plug it in here. This is the vector that we get, that thing that I just drew before, you know, this is that vector. And then if we want to pivot, since we're looking down on it, we want to pivot on the C axis. And just by trial and error, we have to use the Y here. And then we should see something. Well, we are not seeing anything yet <laughs> because we're, we plugged this into the wrong thing. We want the rotation here and we want the V in here like that. So we want V uh, vector and we want to use the rotation and rotate our wheel based on this calculation. Let me just save real quick, just in case Blender crashes. Let's delete this, go back to frame one and see what it does. Oh, I think it's looking pretty cool already. So it's a, it's a bit, <laughs> it's a bit wild. The movement is a bit wild. It looks like one of those wheels that everybody always gets when you go shopping, the wheel on the shopping cart that goes like this, right? Um, however, there is a little bit of a trick we can do here if we want to smooth this out a little, um, since our movement is now based on frames. And we have a position here, and then on the next frame we have a position here, we get a vector, we get the rotation, we rotate the wheel to that position. But on the next frame, we might be moving this way, so then, we're jumping around with our rotation. And that's what we can see here. It's very jumpy, right? Now, how can we uh, smooth this out? Just in case if, uh, you want to, if you want the jerky wheel, then you're all set to go. But we could smooth this out just a little bit. And that's really easy to do. We we're calculating our rotation here. And since this is inside of the simulation uh, area or zone, we get the, sim uh, the rotation uh, back in here. So this is the rotation from the previous frame. And we can actually just simply plug this into our align Euler to vector and then take the factor down to maybe 0.5. So we're mixing in the new rotation to the old rotation and that should smooth this out a, a little bit. You can see. Oh, by the way, if something is not working right away, you can go here to this tab, which is the physics properties tab, and then switch off cache and uh, hit the delete button. I have to do this all the time. I don't know, maybe this is still a bug in the simulation notes. So let's see. Now it's not way not as chumpy. So you can turn this down quite a bit. If you go 0.33, hit delete, go back to frame one. It should be really smooth. Yep, very nice. But I think 0.5 or something is probably more realistic. Delete, play, let's look at it. Yep, so we have the point moving around and the wheel is following. Now that wasn't too difficult, but it's just one wheel. And you might be thinking, well, we just need four of those, right? But 
it can be a bit tricky and we're going to look at that in the next video. So click right over and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Blender tutorials. See you in the next video.